Hello, this is Thomas, I'm on SPY, and I have a new exciting project for this old rabbit ear antenna. In one of my previous projects, I experimented with this antenna to see whether it, it is capable of receiving live images from the NOAA weather satellites. And guess what? It performed very well. So I'm not really ready to put it away yet, so I have another important assignment for it. This week, the International Space Station is celebrating 20 years since, since it started amateur radio. To mark this event, the ham radio station on the ISS will be transmitting slow scan TV images as they circle planet Earth using this same amateur radio station on board. SSTV stands for slow scan TV, so it really is more like a series of images than real TV. The way the ISS will operate the station is is um, transmitting an image, pausing for three or four minutes, and then transmitting another. Slow Scan TV is transmitted using audio tones, so to us listeners, it will sound like the sound coming from an old video game or a casino machine. The ISS takes ten minutes to go from one side of the horizon to the other, and I'm hoping that, that within these ten minutes I can catch at least one complete SSTV image. My equipment will be this old antenna, uh, and an SDR Play SDR. They're not very sophisticated, but they can tune the frequency, and that's all we need. I'll use a computer program to decode the audio tones into an image. So let's get started. It's time to look at the ISS schedule. So this is my antenna, all hooked up and ready to go. I've measured 49 centimeters on each side to make sure it tunes to the to the band we're going to be receiving on. So this is my setup and um, it's what I'm going to use to receive the signals. So I think I'm ready. Let's see if we can find a good ISS pass. In this first attempt, the ISS was too low below the horizon, so the picture was a little unclear. So I tried a second time, and this picture is a little clearer. On the top you can see the old mirror station and an American astronaut, Jerry Leninger.
So I tried a third and final time, and this picture is a lot clearer than the other two. What we see here is the Japanese astronaut Koichi Okada and the American astronaut Sunita Williams from the U.S. Navy. So in the Battle of Rabbit Ears versus International Space Station, the Rabbit Ears came through and received the signal greatly. Hope to see you in my next video.